Hi. So this morning when I woke up, I saw an interesting video on Facebook. It's a lady in line at Walgreens trying to check out. And her kid is a double spawn. And he is just going ape shit. Ape shit as much as he could, but being attached to his mother. And I'll get to that in a moment. But as she's standing at the checkout counter, down where the candy usually is, there's a couple of retail boxes of Skittles and then a couple of large jugs of the Amazon green tea. And he's sticking his arm out and he's slamming on the floor. And he's pushing all the merchandise on the floor. And the mom's not saying a damn thing to him. And the employee of Walgreens comes out and says, Ma'am, you know you've been banned from the store. The manager said you can't shop here, you need to leave. And she's like, what did I do? What did I do? Meanwhile, her kid, swinging his arms, trying to kick merchandise off of the shelf. And at this point, the employee standing between the child and the counter like a hockey goalie. And the kid's trying to swing and knock more Arizona off. And he's throwing, the employee's throwing his leg out like a goalie and blocking the shots. And every time he blocks the kid from knocking merchandise off the counter, the kid screams. But the reason he's able to block the kid, and this is what I said I was going to get to in a moment. The reason he's able to block the child is because the child can't move. Because apparently the mother's form of discipline, she took a belt and ran up underneath the child's shirt, out the neck, made a loop and then has it around her arm like he's a purse. And so the child can only move as far as the slack and the belt will allow him to move. So he's essentially tied to his mom like, like an oversized purse with legs and a, and a potty mouth. And as this poor employee is standing there throwing out long shots and throwing out leg blocks and keeping this kid from knocking more merchandise on the ground, he's trying to explain to the mom, you know you've been banned from the store. You can't shop here. And she's like, why? What did I do? He's like, technically nothing. It's not you. It's your child's behavior and the fact that you refuse to do anything about it. And she's like, well, I can't beat my kids as if that's the only way to discipline your child is to beat the hell out of them. And, of course, you know, the employee's just doing his job. He's trying to be diplomatic about it. He's not responding to her her woes and not being able to dis not being able to beat her child because she doesn't want to get arrested. He said, ma'am, i got to ask you to leave. <laughs> and as soon as she says she can't beat her child because she doesn't want to go to jail, this little four-year-old kid starts screaming, F you! No, I'm sorry. He starts screaming, shut the F up! And the employee's like, here we go again. And she's like, what do you want to do? I can't beat my child. And this four-year-old's screaming, shut the F up to the employee. It's like, hello, is is that the biggest problem? I mean, you is that why where we're at today with people being sociopath assholes is that parents can't figure out how to discipline their child if it doesn't involve beating the hell out of them now look i'm not saying don't spank your kids i grew up in kentucky trust me i've been spanked a lot um and in my experience uh if you spank a child when they're four three spank them on the ass you only gotta do it once because it's set in their mind that if you mess around that whooping's coming and so they usually don't act up or they do it when you're not around but that's besides the point. No, you don't have to beat your child. No, you don't have to spank your child. There's other ways to discipline your kid. But attaching a belt through his shirt and using him like an oversized handbag and then allow him to scream, shut the F up to random strangers and just go into a store and start knocking merchandise on the ground, that is not parenting. And the fact that as he's doing it, you're just sitting there minding your own business like I need to get my prescriptions. Parent your kids. Start at a young age. I mean, if this kid's this bad at four, imagine what he's going to be like at 17. He's probably going to be in prison. He's definitely going to be kicked out of school. And he's definitely going to be in some fights and has ass kicked a few times for running his mouth. So, parent and kids, no, you don't have to whoop them. No, you don't have to beat them. Be a parent. Parent your kids.